Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're down the beach again on a beautiful sunny day. It's a bit windy, but hey ho, we're gonna go through the rocks, try and find some lobsters and some different creatures. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing. Woo! Dead shore crab there. Boy, funny the colors on these things. Got greens, browns, oranges. <laughs> it's another dead species of crab there. That's a velvet swimmer. That one's, that one's shed its shell, that. Molting. Nice old dugout mound here. Don't feel like there's anything in that one. Beautiful little mounds though. You can see the front and the back entrances. That's what you're looking for for those lobsters. Something really therapeutic about just walking through the water like this. I'm waiting for the tide to go down at the moment. I've just been going through the boulder bed here, just seeing if there's any lucky Larry lobsters. But I'm quite high up the beach here, so chances of finding anything decent are quite remote until we can get to the furthest part. It's nice just walking around, it's a beautiful day. And we're out of the wind a bit here as well. So it makes for a nice enjoyable forage. Come on, you lobsters. Guarantee this would be a good bass spot. Gonna remember this one for the future. As you can see, it's a huge boulder bed, but there's a lot of boot lace weed around. It's an ideal place on a rising tide to find the bass. What a great little spot. Some giant prawns around. The size of that one. <laughs> Feisty little one. <laughs> oh, nearly had me. Gotcha. That's a whopper of a lady crab, that one. Check the size of that. <laughs> Almost had me a few times. That's the velvet swimming crab, guys. What an absolute beast. These things give you a nasty nip if you let them. <laughs> we don't want none of these today. We're going to try and wait for the lobsters. Fingers crossed we can get a keeper. This right here is the painted top shell. And then we got the good old cushion stars. Quite a big one, that. And they got a relative as well. I think it's the red cushion star or the, or the blood cushion star. One of them. Really pretty, they are. I've never found one of the red ones before. This is the one that we get the most of. Really nice to see. Abundance of life. Got a lobster here, guys. Got him! <laughs> First Larry lobster of the day. He's right in this hole and he just come flying out. I don't think his size is a bit small, that one. But cracking all the same. Woohoo! We actually got one. I've been searching around for a little while now. Been lovely to see. Look at that. Little Larry lobster, baby. <laughs> Finally, I've been searching all around this part and there's just been nothing. And this little bugger comes out of nowhere. What a cracker. So there we go guys. Nice little female lob, oh no, it's a male that one. So I'm gonna put him back in his hole. I've got no need for that little one. We're after those big mamas. Oh, I nearly had him. <laughs> Where's he gone? Come here. Where's he gone? There's a lobster in here, guys. I'm just trying to ease him out.
think he's got away from me, the little bugger. Big lobster, big lobster, yeah! <laughs> Lovely sized lobster there. We get her measured. See what she comes out like. I can feel it moving around in the bottom of the hole there. All right, here we go, lobster gauge. Now nah, it's out, it's out this one by quite a lot. Look at that, another Larry lobster though. Beauty, that's what it's all about. I can feel her just walking around in the bottom of the hole. And I was just trying to coax it out and it jumped out of nowhere. What a beauty, lovely little lobster. I'll get her back. Trying to pinch me as always. There we go. That looked like a good lobster when I first seen it. Go on, get back in your hole. There we go. Kick back. Go on. There we go. Go back. Doesn't want to go back in its hole. There we go. Keep you away from everyone else. <laughs> That's three lobsters we found now. The little one that I couldn't get my hand on before. And uh, two medium sized. Those two were just out of size by about five millimeters. Fingers crossed. Once the uh, tide goes down a little bit more, we can find some more. Fingers crossed we get a big one. I've given up in that spot now, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ride around the island and go to the crab pot. It's only had a 24 hour soak, but you never know. It could be a Larry lobster in there. It's got fresh bait. So I'll see you on the beach, hell yeah. That was definitely more of a track than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Sweating out. There's a bit of wind, but God, it's hot today. Wearing a beanie hat was a bad idea. Should have put the foraging hat on. <laughs> Fingers crossed we can get something in this crab pot. That tide's starting to whip in now, so I've got to be pretty quick here. Because where my crab pot is, is a big gully and it gets cut off about two hours up from the tide. So you've got to be quite careful. And so I think that's a good thing to note in foraging as well. Is uh, wherever you go, make sure you know what the tide's doing. Know what time low tide is. And, uh, and make sure you leave before the tide starts moving in. Because it's easy to make a mistake when you're preoccupied and find something decent, you know. So always worth putting that little bit of safety in there because it is dangerous we are at the crab pot oh that was a trek Couple of brown crab. Here we go guys. A couple of brown crab here. Pretty decent ones too. Not size though, definitely not legal. But lovely size ones nonetheless. There's another big one just down the back here. Come on, let go. There we go. Another good one there. Any more? There's one in the back. There we go. Three brown crabs, no lobsters. Still got tons of bait in there, so that's going to be good for the next few days. Fingers crossed we get a nice lobster. Out. 
all these right here, guys. I never really noticed these on the rocks before. These are all the new shoots for the uh, bootlace weed. As you can see, there's quite a large amount of it down here. And that's how they start out. Just like that. And they start growing outwards. And then into the long, tasty plants, which is the thong weed. Got the netted dog whelk there. It's a little brown crab. Come here, little buddy. Ah, a little mini miniature version of what we had in the crab pot. <laughs> Always like doing this as the tide's coming up. So just follow the tide up and lift up some rocks. You never know what species you're going to find. Because often that's how you're going to find something new. Cracking size of Xampho crab there. See, it's got quite a lot of purple on that one. You always find this sort of colour has got a lot of purple. And then you obviously you get the browns, the reds. Some of them come a little bit yellow as well. Cool little creatures. A feisty old Xampho there. Look at that one. Ready for war. <laughs> all sorts of little sea squirts here I'm not sure what the species is there's so many different types of sea squirts and uh all the rest of it go on buddy get back there don't bite me just go back <laughs> definitely shows how fast the tide comes up though all of those boats there they were dry when i first got here about 20 minutes ago <laughs> that's why you gotta be careful especially in the channel islands we've got such a tide range that moves so fast you've got to be so careful you can really get into trouble. Got some pipe fish here. Could be a male and a female. Got a light brown one. And you got, where is he? Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Lost the, I've lost the pipe fish. <laughs> There's a baby green one there. Look how small that one is. It's tiny. I don't know where the other pipe fish has gone. Oh, look at that. That's a tiny little Xampho crab. That's a different species to the one we found before. Cool though. What's that? Some sort of little sand goby. Go guys little baby sango be there apparently they actually taste quite good but i'm not into eating stuff like that it's a common shore crab we use these for bait quite a lot cool to find look at that you can see this one's lost his claw before and over time he's slowly growing it back <laughs> wicked this right here is the broad claw porcelain crab they got a relative called the uh, the long claw porcelain crab where they're a lot skinny. This right here is a common goby. And then here we have the blenny. And both of these can stay out of the water for quite a while. Uh, all they need is a bit of moisture and then they wait till the tide comes in. There's a little pie crust there. A couple videos ago all of this was just matted green so it shows that the uh all the weeds slowly dying back you can see it's starting to turn a real yellow color and that's always good for fishing when the weed starts dying back because then you can <laughs> pull up less mounds of weed but yeah it's interesting how it all dies back when the summer starts disappearing beautiful that's all for today's episode guys not the best forage in the world but we found a few uh a few lobsters and a few bits and bobs Really enjoyed myself today, but shame we couldn't get a little cook up. That would have been fun. But hey ho, till the next time. If you like my channel, like and subscribe. There's gonna be plenty more to come. We got some brilliant tides coming up, and hopefully we can get some big keepers. So stay tuned. It's smash fishing. Woo! Some cool little birds down here. <laughs>